it's Jesus here, back with another video. Today, I want to be talking to you guys about Cuphead. Cuphead and his Cuphead man. Finally, finally Cuphead has released for Steam and Xbox and games for Windows or whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's Xbox Play or what I think is really fantastic when they do games like that because I want to play video games on my PC uh, but I also want to get the Xbox Live achievements. Not that this is a game that utilizes the mouse and keyboard because I'm still using the Xbox controller on the PC but still it's much easier to record gameplay uh, on the PC than it is on the Xbox. It uses a lot less resources than with a capture card than just using regular old Shadow play. The question is, is it gonna leave us dissatisfied and questioning why we still get excited for video games, or is Cuphead really gonna be an amazing fucking game with a beautiful graphic art style and interesting gameplay? I'm gonna go for the latter. Uh, Studio MDHR have really delivered an amazing game. Uh, and I think, in my opinion, it was worth the wait. I don't mind if they delay video games at all. Please delay your video games in order to make a spectacular product instead of a rushed, unfinished, buggy, glitchy mess. And after a very long and very difficult tutorial, you will be dropped in the world of Cuphead. Have to defeat increasingly difficult bosses, very hard platforming levels to reach your end goal of defeating the devil. But yeah, Cuphead. But yeah, Cuphead is. It, but yeah, Cuphead looks. It looks amazing. Uh, it looks like an old. It looks like an old school cartoon. It's a very difficult platforming game. Um, I have to say, I was imagining this game to be a little bit different. I thought there were gonna be much more traditional platforming levels, but they are just a couple of them spread that over, all over the map, and just for you to collect coins so you can buy upgrades for your character. Most of the game revolves about you defeating interesting, challenging, and sometimes motherfucking difficult bosses and that's where the game truly shines the platform levels are okay they're not really special um, they serve their purpose in the game um, they are also quite challenging to get through uh, there's no checkpoints you have just 3 HP if you get hit three times you're fucking dead you can get some upgrades for that but if you get more HP your damage output will be lower so keep that in mind if you're gonna take a couple more hits, also your enemies are gonna take a couple more hits before they kick the bucket. That left me with the question, is Cuphead challenging or is it unfair? I think it depends on, on who you ask and who is playing the game. Uh, I myself think this game is challenging, it's not unfair, They're, they have this attack patterns uh, that you just have to figure out. It's a lot of trial and error. You have to practice to know what the bosses are gonna do in order for you to beat them. I haven't yet beaten the entire game yet, but I think I've played enough of the game to uh, give my insights on people who might be interested in picking up this game. If you get easily frustrated or, or a person gives up, fairly quick, you might want to play this at a friend's house uh, before you pick it up yourself. Because if you get easily frustrated, this might not be the game for you. But it's certainly not unfair. If, for example, I would think of an unfair game, uh, quite recently I picked up a couple of games on Humble Bundle and uh, one of those games was Cave Blazers, a roguelike platformer. That game is unfair. That's so fucking unfair because it's a random generated levels, uh, you can get fucking tough enemies from the beginning and there's almost no way to get your health back there's no checkpoints and those are a lot of levels to get through before you can beat the game I haven't beaten that game yet I'm not giving up but that's in my opinion what an unfair game is Cuphead is not Cuphead it's just challenging you just have to practice it and master your skills in beating the bosses gameplay wise it's it's gameplay wise it's it's very solid, it's not something very spectacular. You have a parry, a jump, you can dash, and you can shoot. If you hit an enemy, you build up special uh, in the form of little tiny cards in the uh, bottom of your screen. Uh, if you fill up one of the cards, you can do a special. If you fill up five of them, you can do a super special attack, which will deal a significant amount of damage to the bosses. 
for the bosses it's really hard to tell when they're gonna die because there's no feedback on how much damage you've done to them and how much health they have left because they have no health bar it's just it's something you have to memorize and see and find out for yourself how much it takes to defeat one of the bosses if you die in a boss you see a sort of checkpoint system that might give you a little indication of how far you were into beating the boss and how much more damage you had to do to them which I think is really interesting not that adds to a psychological nature of the game that you never know how close you are to beating the boss actually this is one is gonna be high on the top 10 list this year Cuphead has a very unique art style reminiscent of cartoons from back in the day, the old school style Disney cartoons. I even had a little bit of a Looney Tunes feeling right in there and it's just really, really incredible and I highly recommend every single one of you to try out this game. This is a game that's worth your money. <laughs> If you like this video please do not forget pressing the thumbs up button consider subscribing to the channel and i hope to see you guys watching my next video as well i will see you guys later